What up? This is Scoozy back with another episode of Help Me Survive Minecraft. And we're starting today up here on our end city, um, the island in the sky. Uh, and we're right next to our chicken farm cooking machine of awesomeness. Uh, this is where all the chickens lay the eggs that feed down into our automatic chicken cooker. And their cooked chicken spits out of this dispenser, goes through a water stream all the way down and around. Then it comes out and falls out of the side of the building right here. Uh, we should see that one come out in just a second. And these hoppers, oh, there goes some feathers, feed it down, falling out of a hole down into these uh, collection system. And then that gets fed into our storage system in the house. So all in all, it's been producing a lot of cooked chicken for us. And then, of course, down here uh, inside the island itself is a mob farm. So mobs are constantly spawning in here and then being washed out, taking fall damage, and then having their drops collected by their system. So uh, the last step in this before we finish it off and add the AFK tower up top is to... Um, Oh, we want to add, uh, if I can, oh, I'm never going to be able to get up there. I'm terrible with the ender pearls. Uh, we want to add kind of a sugarcane farm uh, on top of here because ultimately the entire point of the mob grinder is to get us gunpowder for rockets so we can fly around. Um, so we are also going to need paper to make those firework rockets. So we're going to build a little sugarcane farm. Uh, up here, nothing huge, and feed it into this same water stream system. So uh, I'm just going to kind of take a little peek at the space we have, kind of think things out a little bit, and then I'll bring you back and show you the plan. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm thinking here. Um, I ran a hopper chain leading into the same system that we already have. Uh, this right here is going to be the outside wall. Um, of the actual like end city itself um, so the sugar cane will grow here it won't let me place it because I don't have water yet but uh, this front channel will have a water source pushing the drops into the hoppers and that'll also serve as the water that will let me plant the sugar cane then we'll have a row of pistons pointing towards um, the sugar cane itself and they will get a power source from a hopper clock which I will build in this big location over here and then just kind of run the signal this way uh, to power the pistons. Um, so that should work fine. I'm gonna build it a little bit. I have to go down and get some more magenta glass and uh, yeah then I'll come back and give you a little bit of a progress update. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, yeah, didn't do a whole lot. Um, I just extended this wall up, uh, placed it in the sand, and in this space here is where the pistons will go. Uh, and then I just doubled it up. I did one on this side too. I'm going to put pistons here. And uh, then we'll build the clock and wire it all up. So I thought I'd bring you back and just show you this because it's the only part that really matters. Your collection system can be done however you want. Um, Okay, so I'm just going to, well, that's not going to work. I'm sure you can see why. Um, we want to hit them not on the block that's in the sand, because then we'd have to replant them. Okay, so I'm just going to get up here, raise this up one more. There we go. Like that. Pistons over here. Like that. Um, now, for the redstone, um, we can. I guess we'll just. This corner we can probably take down. <laughs> this efficiency 5 pick is dangerous up here. Um, okay, so we'll build our clock down here. Um, so we're going to need two sticky pistons, two comparators. We will need some redstone dust. 
we have hoppers and we'll need a redstone block for the output uh, okay so we'll do it like right here so your first step uh, in the etho hopper clock is to pay place a hopper and then shift click and place a hopper into that first hopper destroy the first hopper and then shift click it back into the second hopper so now these two ping pong items back and forth and then out of oh this is a little too close I'm gonna have to move this one over is there enough room for this hmm there may not be enough room for this right here we have more space anywhere I think on here I have a little bit more room. Yeah, let's build it on this side. Poor planning on my part, this whole this whole build here. Um, okay. Endstone bricks. Throw those down. Okay. Actually, I don't know if... I should have enough room over here. Fingers crossed. Sorry for all the noise up here. It's just crazy, crazy. Okay, so then we will... Take a comparator output. I don't know. This like may, may be too tight. Like that. Redstone dust. Oh, yeah, I see. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to rethink this and uh, I'll come back. Okay, so we're back and the sun is setting here and the view is just lovely from our uh, Ender Mob chicken cooking sugarcane grinder farm. <laughs> so uh, what I did was I built the, t the clock on top of the chicken coop. Uh, I had some space up here. It's perfect. It fits lovely. Uh, the wall will come up here and totally block it in. It doesn't extend too far this way either or this way. It's incredible. Um, so basically uh, from what I've gathered I watched a video by Impulse SV, and the timing for this, you want uh, items that'll stack up to 64, and you want a stack plus 5, and that seems to be the amount you need. Okay, so we have to find a way to... I bet you if we put like an observer here, this wouldn't even need to be a redstone block. And we would get one pulse. Yeah. Or, what if we do the thing that we did... No, that's not going to work. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to make this into like... Um, like a monostable circuit. Um, I think what I can do quite easily is if I just get down here. <laughs> if I can get back up there, that is. Uh, yeah, so if I were to do this and then place a block here with a torch on either side these torches should power the pistons
Um. <laughs> Okay, let me think about this for a second. Derping with redstone. Um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I seem to have gotten it working, and I'm sure there was a super easy way to do it with like the inversion of torches, like I was trying to figure out, but um, I instead just went with this observer block. It's nice and easy. It'll output like a super quick pulse, like that. Boom. Sugar cane. Okay. Um, I suppose it would be good if that didn't fall out of the end, but I don't know what I can do about that necessarily. Let's see if putting some glass here will help. I mean, even if there's, like, loss with the farm, I, it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm not going for utmost efficiency or any sort of record. I just... I wanted to collect some sugarcane for me while I'm not playing, <laughs> so I don't have to do it. Um... Yeah, let's go down and check out to see if any has made it into the system yet. Oof, my Elytra did not want to activate there. Good thing I got the Feather Falling 4 boots. Uh, we're probably going to have a bunch of junk in here. Yeah, look. Oh, look at that! Five sugar cane already. Uh, that's pretty great. Um, considering it's been running, like, not even two minutes. I love that. Um, yeah. So that's that. That should run the entire time we're at the base, because it's in a, pretty much an adjacent chunk. So yeah, we should have, like, a stockpile of sugarcane in no time. Um, so, before we go and leave today, I do want to show you... The progress over here on our village. So this is about... This is the same day as the last time that I restocked the villagers. And we have got pretty good numbers already. I estimate we're back up to around 25 villagers. Maybe more. Um, and I don't think we've reached the maximum yet. Every time I've come in here today, I've found a baby somewhere. Uh, no, maybe not. But I really don't think we're at max. Um, and although we have a farmer, everyone keeps walking on the crops and just destroying it. Like that fisherman, he just destroyed a potato. Oh well, what can you do? So yeah, I just wanted to show you that the village is thriving, and as long as I don't AFK in here overnight, there should be no chance of any mobs getting in here. And if some mob, by some chance, does get in here, with any luck, one of these two iron golems will take it out before it can wipe out every villager. That's my hope anyways. I guess we'll see how it works out. Uh, I've also been digging out this room in preparation to start our hostile mob storage project. I still haven't forgotten about that. And I had a creeper explode right here and I thought for sure that Fuzzy Pickle, our charged creeper, would uh, be taken out in the blast. But he wasn't and then I managed to somehow wiggle him back into a one by one space even though he was in a giant like open area back there. Uh, so I was pretty proud of myself for that. Not losing our charged creeper despite the other creepers best efforts <laughs> yeah so from fuzzy pickle and me I just want to thank you uh, for coming and hanging out today well we worked on our sugarcane farm and although I'm not the best red stoner I'm trying to learn I'm trying to improve my skills and if I can pass any of that along to you the viewer then that is uh, 
really great by me. So if you enjoyed it, if you learned anything, or if you were just amused by how bad I am at it, be sure to thumb wrestle that like button and let me know. And uh, if you're new here, subscribe. Come back and check us out some more because we're going to get into all kinds of crazy stuff coming up. Uh, we're basically at a point now where all of our needs are taken care of automatically and we can focus on just doing awesome, awesome stuff. So if you want to see that, hit the subscribe button and come back. Thanks for hanging out today. And until next time, this is Goosey saying, Peace!